the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ has revealed several things that are happening right now. Where we are in the timeline. Where we are in Bible prophecy. I would like to direct your attention to this video when you have a chance. If you haven't already seen this video, this, is, this video is called a, a Plandemic Part 1, Dr. Judy Mikovitz. And you can also, uh, if, you, if you're having problems finding this, go uh, add bit shoot to your search. And you should come up with this video. Now, this video was also um, removed from social media. Now, I'm also experiencing attacks on my video YouTube channel as well. This is the time that we're living in today. These are things that are happening. What the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ showed me in uh, Daniel, I just opened up the Bible searching and my eyes, I, it, the Bible opened to Daniel 7 and my eyes uh, started looking, uh, I first pointed my eyes, when I, my, my eyes focused on verse 26. Verse 26, but the judgment shall sit and uh, they shall, so the, the Lord, the, the, the Lord will sit on the judgment seat, and they shall take away his dominion. Whose dominion? Lucifer's dominion. To consume and to destroy it unto the end. So who is they? They, this here is the saints. This is preaching the gospel. And they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. So we see here in Daniel chapter 9, uh, verse 26 says, And the end therefore shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. So the... the uh, RSV says that it, it will end with war. It will continually be war. And this is also speaking regarding this as well. Unto the end of the war. War is decreed unto the second coming of Messiah in Scripture. In verse 27, unto the end, here in verse 26, that means right up until the second coming of Jesus Christ. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And all dominions shall serve and obey Him, that is, the head, Jesus Christ, and His government, Jerusalem. Now, it's very important to understand, this is extremely important to understand, that Christianity is not the dominion. Christianity does not have dominion. The, the, the Christianity is in the four corners of the earth. The dominion belongs to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, in Galatians, says that but the Jerusalem that is above is free, and she is our mother. That's the Holy Spirit. And so, once again, in Hebrews 12, 22 to 24, it says that our gathering together is of the assembly that is in heaven. That's where Jerusalem is. And that's the inheritance. That is the glorification, the transcendency. So the kingdom of the dominion, the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey Him. And that means Him, that means the entire government. That means all of the saints, including uh, obviously Jesus Christ and all of his, all the hosts of heaven, all of Jerusalem, all the ones that are glorified from, from this earth, Jerusalem, and they will obey. So, and, and, and this is speaking about in the fifth age after the carryover, after hellfire, after the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the judgment, uh, the white throne judgment, all those whose names, um, all those whose names are found uh, to be worthy of continuing after giving good obeisance to God 
after spending an eternity in hellfire. Revelation chapter 20, 13 and 15, 13 and 15. So all dominions shall serve and obey him at that time. Here there too is the end of the matter. Okay, so from here unto there is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my caught, uh, cogitation is much told me and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Okay, because Daniel, he saw and felt, he felt the spiritual war against the saints, the heaviness. He felt the dark cloud. He felt what that transgression would be like in those latter times that we're living in today. So, so where is this destruction coming from? Well, uh, this, uh, th this, this video also is, uh, I heard people talking about that video when I was watching the Freedom March in Vancouver. And, and so this is also the destruction that's happening to the kingdom of Lucifer. Because the kingdom of Lucifer is being exposed. And it's also being defeated through the true gospel of Jesus Christ. In Daniel 7.26... Uh, if you look in Isaiah 14, also says, I think it's in Daniel 7, 14, uh, 14, chapter 14, in Isaiah, rather, chapter 14, wouldn't, aren't, won't these take a taunt against you, pick up a, um, a, a quarrel against you? Uh, actually, I think it's in a backup, a backup, where, where God says that. Okay, and so... Everything is being exposed right now. The destruction to this, to the Holy Spirit revealed to me that the, the destruction of the mountain of Lucifer is now officially begun. Okay? And we are now going into the first wall of that kingdom. Great tribulation for 666. Now, in Daniel 7 26, fourth beast kingdom is being destroyed. Job 1418. Through the gospel, Ephesians 5.11 says, to have nothing to do with the powers of darkness, rather expose it. And that's what the uprisings are doing. Those specific ones. They're exposing, like the environmental movement, like this Freedom March, talking about vaccines. Okay, they're, 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 speaking, they're speaking up against the vaccines. It's all coming out into the open now. I was going to go somewhere. I have quite a few notes here. Yeah, I wanted to go here. Uh, I did that here. So, what's going to happen as the Holy Spirit revealed to me, we are, we are now experiencing waves uh, in um, the biblical proportion that we're reading in Luke chapter, I think it's 21, verses 25 to 28. The seas... Uh, the waves tossing, the, the sea roaring. Okay, the wave, the, the waves in the sea roaring. Okay, the, the, the waves are tidal wave proportion. Now here in Joel 2.23, uh, 2.31, the sun shall return to darkness, the moon to blood. That's what causes it. The Holy Spirit revealed to me when the gospel is preached, they lash out. The darkness lashes out. It has uh, two choices. It's either going to put up a white flag and surrender and be converted to Christ, or it's going to continue its bloodshed. And it's just going to continue. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. It's stubborn. But God is more stubborn. Okay, He says to Ezekiel, I made your forehead even more harder than theirs. I made your forehead like flint. So, what, what, so the, that's why the moon turns into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Acts 2.20 The sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon and the blood there before the great and notable day of the Lord come. First covenant, second covenant. So what is, the, what is this? We already saw this. We saw this at the close of the age of the first covenant. We already, saw, we already know what this is. This is the murder of Jesus Christ. 
And that's exactly what they're doing with the vaccines. That's exactly what they're doing. The vaccines play a huge part because the vaccines, they erase part of the brain. You see, and then they can program it the way they choose. Vaccines uh, causes the masses to be a zombies. They um, lose vitality. That, that is why they close the national parks. Okay? They're speaking these things that is completely from, it's from the Holy Spirit. It's the truth. They're speaking the truth. And they're saying that closing the national parks, closing a beach, is, is actually helping the virus to spread even more because that's where we get our healing. Being, wearing masks and gloves, they're saying, as you, as you see in that video, is actually hazardous to our, our being because we're losing the immunity that we require, you know, that our body gives us when we are exposed to those things. And these, this is not anything old. I, I've heard the microbiologist speak of this several years ago. So, but everything is now, as the Holy Spirit revealed, we're at the point where we're the, in the time of everything, like that video uh, mentioned that we're, says in Isaiah that all the things that fell upon this, on, on your forefathers will come upon this generation. Lamentations 5, 7 says that our forefathers have sinned and we've borne their iniquity. So we're experiencing everything at the exact same time that have happened in the history of humanity. And in Revelation, so this is so so this is done this is a spiritual covenant. We have a an invisible enemy as they're saying now. This there was all this is the invisible enemy, it's the exact same one. It's the coronavirus in the people. You see? And so and, and but now what the Holy Spirit shed out shed out what what Lucifer is doing, he's he's destroying the physical body so that he could deceive. That's how that's how completely depraved it, it really is. In Revelation 6.12, says, And when, behold, when, I, when he had opened a sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sockcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Now this, what the Holy Spirit showed me in the reports, is that this happens at the end of the sixth seal. At the very end of the sixth seal, everything is completely manifest in the spiritual realm, not the physical realm. All the trumpets are the same in the trumpets of Revelation. And once these things are done in the hearts of humanity, then what happens is the seven trumpet sounds and the physical things begin to, to manifest. And so here is for example here here is a seven year cycle i want to speak regarding i was watching a video um i should have had that uploaded or here so that you could see wh which one it is it was uh, mr benjamin netanyahu was speaking with uh, mr mike pompeo and uh, he was there on a just for, just for a few hours visiting in israel and he, he spoke to him regarding the 72 year uh, he mentioned, Mr. Netanyahu mentioned a 72-year uh, celebration for Israel. So, what the Holy Spirit revealed to me is that the 40 years and the 40 years are exactly the same. And so, on that context, uh, is th 70 and 72 is also exactly, it's, it's the same. It's the same um, time of dispensation. The Holy Spirit revealed to me in the 7 sevens report that uh, the... Um, uh, there's always seems to be one between one and three years before and after a trumpet, and I'm I'm scratching my head figuring out what this was, and the Holy Spirit is is revealed now, has revealed these things. So, what happened here is this here is 2017. Okay, let's. This is 2017. This is the first day, the first year of a new seven-year cycle. In 1947, uh, the, uh, it was a resolution um, 
181. I think it was Resolution 181 is what it's called. And that's when it was signed. After 70 years, is spiritual years, when a word goes out, it's spiritual. Then you have the physical manifestation. Brings us to the first, to, to uh, 1947. Now the Holy Spirit showed me the 72nd year lands right here. Where we are today. Okay, as far as what Mr. Nenya was saying is that we have 72 years right here. So we have the 70, 72 years, it's over, and we got uh, one and two years, is 70, the 72nd year. So here we are. The coronavirus comes out at the end of 2019, at the end of the seven years have begun. Now, uh, and then we have the 72nd year begins. What this is, if you look at the menorah, okay, you have flesh, soul, spirit of humanity. Fourth dimension, carry over, first woe, second woe, third woe. So you have the soul and the spirit. This is the two years. 70 years, two years, and you have the end of the 72nd year. This is what it is, soul and spirit. And th what it is, is a ceiling. It's a ceiling, it's a carryover, it's a carryover, a carryover. But God says that the, the time comes when He's going to seal the creation. They're going to be sealed and there will be no escape. So what, what I'm expecting to see, so uh, let's see, the five months, so in, uh, this is also at the end of all this is the five months that leads to the nuclear war of Armageddon, which is coronavirus 4.4. It is the fourth beast kingdom that the saints are destroying. And what it is, what they're doing right now, is that Lucifer, Satan the devil, is raising up its ruins. Okay? So, the... The, vac the vaccination, for example, is uh, building up the ruinous heaps that were caused by Lucifer, Satan, the devil. So what Lucifer is doing, Lucifer is destroying humanity. He's destroying the creation, and then he's reinventing it. He's raising it up. He's raising up his own ruins. You see, God does that. Lucifer is doing that because Lucifer mimics everything that God does. And so with these vaccinations, that's, that's how he does it. Okay, the vaccinations are playing a very, very large role in the uh, depopulation, the total control of the New World Order over humanity. Now, the, the, vac the vaccines are playing a major role. Everybody is sealed, uh, spirit soul and spirit sealed okay, in mixtures. Okay, everybody is sealed in mixtures. Okay, when we have the Holy Spirit, we, you know, we're protected. We're protected. You see, they, they can't remove that from the saints because we, we belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. We belong to God and God's going to protect us. God's going to protect us from taking the vaccine. God's going to protect us from... Uh, he can protect us from absolutely everything. Okay? But once again, there's mixtures involved here. But these are martyrs. Those that are r rising up for God. God looks at them as martyrs for Him. Because they're exposing the truth and they're doing the truth. You know, for whatever reason, they're doing the truth. But they are putting their life on the line, and God does give credit for that. But we have to be in the covenant in order to receive blessing, in order to receive transcendency into the kingdom of God. I also would like to speak regarding the mortal wound. Now, the Holy Spirit revealed to me in the report that the mortal wound that was healed, actually the Bible says it seemed to be healed, is the church and is the awakened ones is the church and you see how the church was into a lull it, 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 was, it fell asleep but there was always those that are awake but there's, there's only a few 
now there's many, many more voices rising up than say even when I was when I began in 2009 with this YouTube channel, or it was um, with the website was 2009. I think this YouTube channel was 2010 when it was, and. Now there's so many more voices, so many people are more awake because of the Holy Spirit. God is raising up His remnant. He said, to Isaiah, he says, look, I have a remnant. I've reserved 700 right people. So, you know, they're there. I just got to give them my Holy Spirit. They're, 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 they're reserves. And so the reserves are, are, are speaking up now. And so the mortal wound at a time seemed to be healed to them, but it, it wasn't healed. Now... Uh, they're being exposed, and so what it's going to do is it's going to go into perdition. That's why it goes into perdition. That's why the eighth king goes into perdition. Because they're being exposed. And it, it ha they have to go down. Now what's happening, the Holy Spirit showed me that they are causing a war against China. This is, they're doing it, this is the backup. This is their last effort, is the war with China. And this is where they're, they're, they're aiming. Okay, blaming, they're blaming China for the, for the virus. And, and that, that's how wars begin. And, and that's exactly what the Bible says is going to happen. In Daniel chapter 9, tidings from the north and the east you know, will alarm him and he will go out to, to, to annihilate many. And so that's what they're doing with the coronavirus. That's what they're doing right now. And so what... What it seems to be happening is that they're actually, like what the website says, the Holy Spirit had me write that, it's a nuclear briefcase um, a, uh, suit invitation. There's a business, business inv invitation to war. That's what it is. This is happening right now. We're at these times. So these are all signs of the times, and it's all scriptural, it's all biblical, and, and we're seeing it happening right now. This is, these are revelations that the Holy Spirit revealed years ago. And we're starting to see them manifesting right now. So uh, people are, are looking at uh, what I saw. I had a vision in, when I was in Drayton Valley. When I was ministering in Drayton Valley in 2013, I was driving down the road. And I mentioned this, but it's, it's in the website. It's in the reports. I still have the reports. That... I had a light vision as I was driving in the, you know, in between the homes in the in Drayton Valley. I saw um, a person. It was a couple. One was on the on the on the street getting into the vehicle. The other was on the sidewalk getting into the vehicle. And I saw them going into their uh, vehicle. And what I saw. What the Holy Spirit showed me in, in light vision, it was very surreal. It was like they were at peace. And all the houses around them, many houses around them were void. There was nobody living there. They were vacated. And they were living in, in total peace and total harmony. And the Holy Spirit showed me that's the culling. That's what they're going, that is what they're conditioning the citizens for. You either take the vaccine or you get sent off to concentration camps, you get sent off to correction facilities where in Revelation says that they'll be beheaded for the testimony that they kept of God. So that's what the Holy Spirit has put in my heart to, to, uh, to speak regarding. We're here. There is no doubt about it. There, there is just no there are no doubts. There's no questions. We're at this time right now. So it's time to uh, it's time to come out of Babylon. Now is the time. So it's it's the perfect time. God says to come out from her, my people, and touch nothing unclean, and then I myself will receive you. Come out, my people, touch nothing unclean, that I myself will receive you. Come out. Christianity has to come out of the four corners of the earth, the slaughter soaked in sin, slaughter altar of God. And they have to get into Jerusalem. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 22 to 24, where we are to gather in our hearts 
our spirits are to be there in that church, the church of the firstborn of the way. God bless you in Jesus' name.